Hello everybody and welcome back to our Dyson Sphere program. Let's play episode 32, I guess. We're in, in the end game phase now. I figure we're time, uh, we're due for some upgrades, you know. So we had set up our uh, little strip mall along here earlier and I decided that it just wasn't doing what I needed it to do anymore. Um, so I spent, oof, it was probably two or three hours planning and, and looking out and figuring what I could do to make a more efficient uh, strip mall, I guess. I like the idea of being able to carry your items w with belts into it and not rely solely on logistics. So I came up with this little layout here and I it's got almost every item. I'm missing a few, I believe. Um, and, and, and it is a little bit spaghetti-ish, but I was able to get virtually all the items in, um, I don't know, I guess you could call it like a 70 by 40 area. Um, so in my mind, I haven't gone and searched out and see other people's designs and layouts, like I'm sure Nylaus or I'm Kibitz or Catherine Sky, I'm sure they might have some, uh, some options as well um but this was i i really wanted to do this game with my my planning in mind you know this was my i developed this 100 percent. i didn't go and look at somebody else's layout and base it off of that i brought in i planned out everything what's going to be using what so there's some finicky stuff going on you know like a belt will eventually run out like under here we've got uh iron oops not uh right there iron ingots right but we only need them on these first four machines so i have steel above it and where the steel drops in the iron cuts out um, and same thing here with the exciters um, only the six machines need it and then after that um, the uh, processors come into play but then again, I had to get all finicky with the belts and blah, blah, blah. And this is where the spaghetti came in and this being early phases of planning. Um, so, I mean, for my purpose, it works amazing, you know? Like I forgot to add this um, sphere, whatever they're called, constraint sphere. Forgot to add that in completely. I totally lucked out having a little bit extra space on the end so I could sneak in the storage and the foundation because I forgot about those as well um, so I think when you go through the list of buildings other than the orbital collector and I didn't add a fusion power plant because I didn't need think it was super necessary um, I barely use them maybe I'm not playing right um, and the other things it's not really containing as any fuel or any of the thrusters or logistic drones I have those set up elsewhere and um, I mean I'm sure I could have added them in but then I would have had to build something just for the thrusters and then so I decided I'm not gonna worry about them in this layout to me this is more about building and building supplies um, the other thing I'm gonna touch on was I actually had never even used an energy exchanger I didn't understand what the purpose was. Every time I read that, I didn't understand what it was saying into an empty accumulator to make a full accumulator because I barely even used the accumulators. Then it finally dawned on me when I realized you need them for the orbital collector. I was trying to understand how you automate the orbital collector without, that was why I didn't add it to the layout. So then it finally, I finally played around with the any exchanger. And so what you can do is you can literally use it to store and transfer power. So later on, I, you might even be able to basically collect energy from a sun into the form of accumulators, transport them and unload it and into your network. That seems like excessive right now, but to automate orbital collectors, you actually need an energy exchanger to do that. Maybe I'll do a little tutorial video on that later. It's pretty straightforward on how it, how it works, but I will mention it does, yeah, it takes 45 megawatts to use one of these bad boys, so it's gonna have a draw. Um, so 
yeah, basically, I'd say, I don't know if you like this layout, if it works for you. I mean, okay, I, I guess I'll give it a quick little close up over here. So what I've done is that the main belt here has iron gear and circuits. Now these are required for everything along this back line. So if I, I'm going to turn off F11 so you guys can get a clear look. So all of these items back here are going to require one of those three items. So everything in the middle here, well not everything, but are going to require Actually, no, I shouldn't say everything. A few of them require the electric motors and the turbines, the mag turbines or whatever. So these first few items here, they're going to use those items, the turbines and the motors. And then after, it's going to cut into the stone bricks and the mag coils. So then these items down here are going to use those. So basically, that's how I figured out what's going to be what. So then I, I decided that I'm just going to push these across. This is for the level um, three and level two versions, respectively, of the um, belts and the, and the assembler. Um, this was for future planning because you're going to need these for satellites, which I forgot to include. Um, these bad boys here, which are pretty useful. So, um, how have I done this? So I brought in the stone there, and then this is actually another line of stone. So I've actually split off the stone into two lines, um, cause there's a couple things that are over here that need stone as well. So I've got an extra belt of stone and then a belt of glass coming in. So this is the main center strip of the strip mall here, right? Where you pick up most of your items. So on the far side over here, this is where most of the mid game slash more advanced items come in, except for the extra mag rings. I forgot I needed to split off the mag rings as well. So our mag coils, whatever you want to call them. So initially I've got, uh, actually, yeah, I had to split off some circuits as well. So I've got circuits coming in and then more iron that I've split off as well coming in and then plasma exciters for the first few. And then see the mag coils really don't go far. They're basically just used for these two. Um, and then see this was one that I totally forgot about. The photon combiners. So they were needed for the ray receivers. I think solely the ray receivers. So yeah, there was a lot of like tricky planning. So in the end, I had to use I didn't have to, but I chose to use a few um, logistics ports just to bring stuff in a little bit easier. Like there was one, what is it? The, it's the um, planetary logistics stations that requires just titanium. So it's kind of a pain. I have to have one belt for that, right? Um, we needed a fair bit of the super mag coils. Um, and so I decided to bring them in and come in from this side. Almost everything else is fed from whether you want to call it the left or the west. This is how I nor oriented it. This is north up here. And then I had to bring in a few. I didn't have to, but to clean it up, I brought in a few items to the from the east or the right side. So basically, in the future, this is the section that's going to get cleaned up. All this spaghetti is going to be cleaned up. Uh, the solar panel will probably get added in like see I have a belt of gears that had to go all the way over here for the EM rail I mean I'm sure I could figure out a better way to do that but so basically this is this is my strip mall version 2.0 um, we're gonna come out with versions 2. Point whatever till we get it more or less spaghetti free because um, what's this one over here some, something wait what what's happening there see there, there's something there's something going on we're still in early phases of development so I need the mag coils in there and for some reason this thing is spewing out what what did I do 
Well, that'll be something to fix later. I'm gonna go shut down this episode and figure out how I managed to get those over there when yeah very I don't even think I I don't think those any even need to go in there yeah oh, oh oh okay you see what we're doing there it's not actually going in there it's going in for the ray receiver ah there we go okay so let's fix that back up We'll put our one belt. I've got two belts. I got one belt coming in here, one belt spitting it across there because I couldn't. I had to work with this little Humpty Dumpty. Oh. There was a lot of planning that went into it. So, anyways, let's leave it at that. There's our uh, quote unquote compact, um, compact 70 by 40 approximately uh, strip mall. Hopefully, uh, this helps you out. Hopefully, I'll do a tutorial video directly for it later to help you guys plan it. Thanks. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hit that like, subscribe if you want to see more. Sinister is out of here.